so we know that there is always a space for improvement and here we go vtp pruning is is something which is which is there in the vtp for you know the proper utilization of uh, everything when we talk about vtp and when we talk about the switches so vtp pruning helps improve proper allocation and use of network bandwidth by reducing unnecessary flooded traffic such as broadcast traffic multicast traffic unknown and flooded unicast packet vtp pruning is disabled by default in cisco switches so now let's understand what they are saying about vtp pruning so we know like uh, in the in the you know in the fundamentals we know that if uh, any packet from the suppose if we have user here in the vn 100 and it sends the packet then it will then all the switches who are in vlan 100 will receive that packet will be advertised to all the switches will receive to the from this end to the this end right and even if we don't have any user connected on vlan 100 suppose if we don't have any user in this switch if we don't have any user in this switch right so this is unnecessary flooding of packet where we don't need that packet in that switch if we don't have vlan 100 user in any of the switches why we, why would we need the packet to be received on that switch then we need to stop that flooding and that's how the vtp pruning comes into the picture it helps in stop in stopping the unnecessary flooding of packet which is not made for the particular that switch okay so if vlan 100 we have uh, broadcast is sent to all the switches in the vtp domain by default it is sent to the all but with the help of vtp pruning we can disable if we don't have any user assigned for vlan 100 or any other desired vlan right if we don't have a user on this switch we can disable the so what it will do it will uh, it will just uh, come into it and forward it it will not forward anything on its ports if we don't have any uh, user if we don't have any machine connected over vlan 100 right it will just receive and forward it will not forward to any of the port of the switch right so that's how vtp pruning works so it is you know by this you can see that uh, yes we can see the proper uh, you know allocation of the resources proper utilization of the resources and this we have uh, there is we need improvement in everything so vtp pruning should be enabled on vtp server all the clients in the vtp domain will automatically enable vtp pruning by default this vlan are pruning enabled so this is a normal range vlan but vlan 1 cannot be pruned because it is administrative vlan both vtp version and the two supports pruning okay so that means vtp pruning is we can enable on only on the server side and it will automatically replicate to all the clients in the vtp domain and we can implement the vtp pruning only on the normal range vlan right we cannot do anything with the vlan one right we cannot prune this vlan one because this is a management vlan through which we configure our devices through which we cannot the, this is a good thing that cisco has done at least they they are not uh, stopping anything like uh, if they would have done included the vlan one as well and if by mistake someone has pruned that vlan one so the packet would not be reaching on that switch and that can like a proper completely isolating the switch from the environment so they protected us thanks to cisco right we have caveats over here vtp client will move to the transparent mode if there is any failure during updating vlan database received from server oh nice following syslog message is displayed on console so this would be the message you would see when it would fail to update it vlan database then it will the client will move into the transparent mode and for fixing this for fixing this issue you need to roll back again to the vtp mode client to get the 